Hey everyone, welcome back. I started digging into some of these mysterious Fisher & Paykel humidifiers that are broken just everywhere. In other words, they're not passing electrical safety. So I started digging into them. Let's take a look on the inside and I'll show you what I found. All right. Here, I got the inside of the Fisher & Paykel. You can see that the AC mains comes into here. There is a ground bus. So this main ground lead right here comes in it connects to that second uh, screw down right there and then this first one this little skinny guy right here the little little green one right there goes to the platter itself so when you're doing electrical safety what you're doing is you're going from the ground pin right here basically that common bus should be close to zero ohms to the platter and we're currently getting multiple ohms worth of resistance and I'm just going to show you guys that if I put one lead down here and the other lead I'm going to go and grab and stick directly on the other end of the power cord I get two ohms and this power cord has never been undone As far as I can tell, there's no crimps or anything, anything that would damage it. Looks like a perfectly good power cord, but this is how it is on the inside. 2.14 ohms consistently. Anyway, um, you can see that we have a step down transformer right here, which is going to help with your isolation as well. Um, there's multiple relays inside this board. Um, some power filtration. You can see that it's got a nice fat fuse under there. And your controller board is this guy over here. So this is basically power distribution and um, temperature monitoring. But uh, this board back here actually does the computations. And then there's a couple different leads that run over here to the platter. Probably one or two of them are thermal couples. Yeah, like this one right here. It's probably uh, temperature. And these ones here that have like this sticky type of coating, these ones here are almost definitely your power for the heater. But anyway, guys, that's it. It's when I connect to the power cord itself. We are getting, let's see. consistently over two ohms so that will never pass electrical safety and I've got so many of these that are like this this one here is one of them and there's no physical damage no nothing wrong with it it's just for whatever reason something's going on inside the power cord and the resistance is spiking so these ones you have to completely ship back to Fisher & Paykel that's all there is to it if they don't pass electrical safety got to ship them back Anyway guys, that's a, a real quick anatomy of a failure. I'll show you guys what's going on with these uh, humidifiers. There's nothing we can do. I mean, I can't, I could technically record it, but that would be very expensive and not very time, time savings whatsoever. So we're just going to box them up, ship them out. It is what it is. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this little video, a little quick breakdown of what's going on inside of these Fisher & Paykels. It is about one in three devices is not passing electrical safety tests and that's why it's the main power cord thanks for watching